on the side of the road in Ireland. March 22nd. It's aligned with the setting sun. When day and night are of equal duration, on these days, given favorable weather conditions, letting sun shine directly into the chamber and illuminates it with a beam of light. Indication that by 2000 BC, before Christ, agriculture provided the inhabitants of the Blackwater Valley with reserves of food, time, and mild manpower required to undertake large scale. The tomb is covered by three huge capstones, the largest of which is 7.8 meters, 10 tons or more. The double walls of upright megaliths are also flanked by a massive outer wall. How did they move it? Hag's Bed. Labakelli translates as the Hag's Bed. A local folklore abounds. It's difficult for us to imagine how 4,000 years ago people dragged these massive stones through a wet and forested land. This was all forest. We gotta read this part. One story tells us that the large boulder lying in the nearby river was thrown by the Hag at her fleeing husband, pinning him to the riverbed. survival of so many ancient and mysterious monuments in the Irish countryside is partly due to the folklore that built up around them. Around the fireside, people recounted tall, terrifying, and sometimes hilarious tales of misfortune that befell those who interfered with the ancient site. Tomb raiders beware. One such story relates that long ago, four men went digging one night for gold that lay hidden at here. Soon after they began to dig, a strange cat with fire rifting from its tail appeared to the men, dazzled by the light they ran. The Witch's Tomb, Lab Cali. So you can't go in there, huh? I could use the rest you can, but dare you? Right here. 